from Fox 55 Sports, Sports Director Justin Prince with the area's most local sports. This is The Locker Room. With that, we say good evening to you all. Welcome inside the locker room. I am Justin Prince. Thank you so much for making us a part of your Friday night. And hey, believe it or not, the high school basketball season is nearly done tonight. The final night of high school hoopage here in the locker room for the season. That's right. It's sectional semifinal Friday here in Indiana for the boys. Plenty of fantastic matchups across the 2-6-0 tonight, but there may be no more better display of talent than in sectional 37 down at Bluffton. When the week began, the sectional four team featured four area teams in the top 13 of the state rankings in Class 2A. Entering tonight, three of those were still alive. So with that, let's head on down Highway 1 to Bluffton. We're going to start things with the early game. Defending state champ, 2A number 6 Blackhawks, taking on number 13 Adams Central. We're going to pick things up in the third. Braves led by 19 at half. They were hot in this one, and they didn't take their foot off the gas in the third. Kellen Pickett buries a three ball from the corner. Blackhawk goes up 22 there, but AC not going away. Micah McClure, the pilfer, he gets back for the pair. But the Braves just not letting him back in this game. Aiden Muldoon joins the scoring fun. He buries a three ball. But AC, hey, they'd have a push in them. Isaac Schultz getting out ahead of the pack. He's going to get the bucket plus the foul to go. Cuts into that lead a little bit later. You're going to see Trace Maller. He's getting in. Uh, he's going to get the bucket to go in the paint. Gets that Blackhawk lead down to just 15 early in the fourth, but they wouldn't really be able to get any closer than that. Muldoon off the inbounds, rattles that one home. He had 10 points tonight. A little bit later, pick it. Big night from him. Bucket, foul. 21 points for the stellar junior and then Isaac Smith is going to cap things off three of his 21 coming right here Blackhawk goes on to win this one 67 44 they're on to the sectional title I'm just proud of our guys to be able to come into this sectional uh, you know the field was loaded um, tremendous teams that we've seen all year um, so to get out there and be able to compete against one of them in Adam Central um, our guys were excited they were ready to get going and uh, Thought they really played well and executed the game plan really well in the first half. And then second half, we just stayed aggressive and got to the rim. We knew they kind of had the, the Schultz and uh, McClure, and it was kind of a one-two. So if we eliminate those guys, we uh, we wanted to make the role players beat us, and, and we did a good job on role players, too. We just dialed in, played it like a regular game, and just hit shots, found guys in their open, and just got up boards. We're starting to click, and uh, we got five more games, so we're excited. The Braves moving on to the sectional final tomorrow. They're going to face the winner of this one between number five Lures and Whitco, who upset Manchester earlier on in the weekend. And they were looking for blood again right away off the start of the game. How about this? Sam Asesian, bucket, foul. What a heck of a way to start the ball game a little bit later. Easton Grable, respect the specs. Buries the three. Wildcats out to a 10-2 lead early, but Lures would claw their way back in this one. Isaac Zay rolling home the bucket in the paint. A little bit later, Darion Truesdale 
The guy has been clutch all season long. He's got the green light from anywhere, pulls and hits from three. And then a little bit later after that, Carmani Davis is going to join the fun. He buries a three himself. Nice down, just three after one. They make a late comeback in this one, too, to win 53-49. So here's a look at your sectional 37 bracket. It's going to be Blackhawk versus Bishop Lewis for the sectional title tomorrow. 7 p.m. is your tip time down at Bluffton. Staying in Class 2A, let's head over to Lewis Cass for sectional 36 action. Wabash taking on Pioneer, and this one was all Apaches tonight. Early on, Caden Vogel gets the bucket to go inside. A little bit later, more from Wabash. Alex Dinkins getting into the paint, getting the finish to go off glass. Apaches go on to roll in this one. They're off to the sectional title game, 40-22, where they are going to see Lewis Cass, the host. The host taking down Winnemac tonight. 7.30 is your tip time tomorrow for sectional 36 title game at Lewis Cass. All right, checking in on sectional 35 now up at Westview. East side falling to Churubusco, so the Eagles move on to the sectional title. They're going to face Westview, who took down Central Noble tonight, 67-63. So here's a look at that bracket. It'll be Westview, Busco, 7.30 for your tip time up in Emma. All right, bumping down to Class 1A, we head back to Wells County, sectional 53 at Southern Wells. Reigning 1A runner-up Southwood taking on Canterbury. Cavs up at half. Knights trying to get back in this one, though. Griffin Chambers getting the bucket to go inside, but back the other way, Cavs have an answer. Tucker Day cleaning up the glass, gets two of his 16 to go, but Southwood not going away, man. Will Weiner, he was on that state runner-up team a year ago, gets the board, gets the bucket, plus the foul, chips into that Cav lead, but just too much Canterbury at the end of the night. John Parent stepping into the jumper. He had 14 points, and Canterbury and Southwood's run to a second straight state title game. They win 67-53. So the Cavs going to get the winner of the early game. That one coming between Smith Academy and Northfield. And this one was all Northfield tonight. Carter Rogers getting the scoring started. Drops home the floater. A little bit later, Ty Lemming going to work in the paint. Smith Academy came out in the zone and yeah, Northfield just attacked it. Look at Lemming getting to the cup, gets the bucket to go. And if it works so well once, why not go right back to it? Lemming, this time getting inside, gets the bucket to go, plus the foul. And then uh, you're going to see Rogers once again. He's going to bury a three ball this time. Norris pitch a shutout in the first quarter. They roll to the 46-19 victory. They're on to the sectional 53 title game where they will see Canterbury. So it's going to be Canterbury Northfield for your sectional 53 championship at 7 o'clock at Southern Wells. Elsewhere in Class 1A, sectional 51, Lakewood Park takes care of Hamilton tonight, 63-15. They're going to move on. Here's a look at that bracket. They're going to see Elkhart Christian for the sectional 51 title tomorrow at 7.30 at Bethany Christian. All right, we're going to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere. We've still got plenty more high school hoopage to come. We've seen Class 2A and 1A coming up next. We check in on Classes 4A and 3A. You're not going to want to miss this. Stick around. You're watching The Locker Room. This is The Locker Room. Hey, welcome back inside the locker room, everyone. Thanks for sticking with us. Well, last year, Wayne made a Cinderella run to the Class 4A semi-state before falling to eventual state runner-up Kokomo. This year, the Generals bring back every single player from that very talented squad as they look to make another deep run. Wayne dispatched Southside to open sectionals on Tuesday. Tonight, they're back in action. Looking to get back to the sectional six title game, taking on New Haven out at Homestead tonight. Starting out in the second half, Generals up already pretty big in this one, and they weren't letting their foot off the gas. Chase Barnes to Kalen Williams-Thomas for the layup in transition, and then Preston Comer just started having fun with it. Gets the drive, sweet reverse finish. A little later, it's Comer again catching the lob, throws it down for the one-handed slam, and it was a boat race from here on out. Comer gets the shot fake and then drives in, and how about another highlight reel finish? Oh, 
digs it back and throws it down, but the big moment of the night came in the fourth quarter. Javon Lewis burying this three ball. He gets the bucket, becomes the all-time leading scorer in Wayne High School history. And Wayne gets a big W tonight, 84-59. Here's Lewis on his, his historic night and moving on to the sectional title. Me and my brothers, we, we, we pray for this moment. I'm trying to go back to back with my guys, and I love them. It's an honor for real. Like I never, I never thought I'd have this opportunity, but I worked hard every year for it, so I'm, I'm blessed. It, it feels like uh, one, one more step closer to a, another one of our goals. Um, we still know we have a lot of work to do. Uh, we'll come back in. Uh, we're gonna watch the team tonight. We'll come back in tomorrow. Ready to work. Their energy lifted, and you know, I mean, when these guys can get out in transition, I mean, it energizes everybody. So the Generals, they're moving on. They're going to face the winner of the nightcap between Homestead and Columbia City for the sectional title tomorrow. We're going to start this one in the first. Spartans on the board first. Alex Graber finds Will Jamison for the bucket. And then you're going to see Jamison again for the layup. Swells that Spartan lead to four. Eagles answer back, though. Stratton Fuller going to hit the turnaround. Jimmy cuts the lead down to just a bucket. And then T-City not going away. Aiden Denning getting the drive, goes in, gets the and one finish, ties things up for T-City. Missed the free throw, though, but the Eagles take the lead. Brady Hartman driving in, scoring, goes up by two to T-City. Later on, Matthew Mulligan putting down two more, extends that lead to five, but Homestead storming back in this one. Sparty goes on to get the win. They're on to the sectional title, 58-45 is the final. So, here's a look at that bracket. It's Wayne Homestead for the sectional championship tomorrow out at Spartan Arena, 7 p.m. is your tip time. Let's check in on sectional five now. East Noble, the site for this year's tournament. Northrop taking on Snyder tonight. Bruins trailing in the second half, but the drive from Don LaRay Reese trims that deficit. Bruins back within five, but Snyder makes opportunities for themselves after that. Off the miss, Jack Langus tips it out to Kieran Billingsley, who pulls off the athletic move to pick up two points. And then Northrop trying to get back into this one. The steal from Nathan Griffin leads to two points on the other end, though. And Snyder goes on to take a 12-point lead and then to end the quarter, Billingsley. I love the headband look. Blocked, but here comes Trell Hogue. The freshman goes up and under to stretch that lead. Snyder goes on to win this one. They're moving on. 50-36, your final. So, Snyder moving on to tomorrow's sectional title. They're going to face the winner between DeKalb and Northside from the late game. Legends wasting no time getting on the board. Javius Davenport hits the three just 12 seconds into the game. Early lead for Northside, but DeKalb's Brady Culler doesn't let the momentum build for long. He hits a three off the screen. Keeps this one close early, but not to be outdone. Rodney Jones joins the party for Northside. He hits a three of his own. That's when the legends really started to find their stride, too. Davenport, cross-court pass here to Jones. He sinks another triple. Northside takes an early six-point lead, and they stay in front. They win this one 50-37, your final. So here's a look at that sectional five bracket. Snyder Northside for that sectional championship tomorrow, 7.30 is your tip time. Let's head up to Elkhart for some sectional four action. Warsaw scoring off with Concord. Minutemen beat the Tigers by 11 back in January, but the Tigers were in control from this one. Luke Bricker to Drew Sullivan. Missing his shoe on his right foot, it doesn't matter. Buries the three, Warsaw up 13 after one. Concord so good defensively this year, though. Brayden Messinger knocks it free. Jalen Bolin, the bucket, plus the foul. Minutemen within seven, but Warsaw could not miss tonight. Luke Bricker, ain't no bricks about that. Game high, 20. Tigers shoot 85% from the field in the first half alone, and they control things the rest of the way. 
They win this one, 48-35, get a little revenge, and they're moving on to the sectional title game, where they're going to see Penn tomorrow. Penn taking out Elkhart tonight. So your sectional four championship, Warsaw. Kingsman, 7 p.m. is your tip time up in Elkhart. Bumping down to Class 3A, sectional 21 action at Woodland. Concordia squaring off with Angola in the early game. Concordia getting things started when Cole Hayward gets the hoop and the harm, puts two on the board for the Cadets. The Hornets start to bounce back, though. Dane Lance getting things started for them. He's going to bury the jumper, but Concordia, they, uh, they had a lot to say about anything Angola was going to do tonight. Cadets back on the attack. Hayward getting in for another score off the miss. Gets the bucket to go. And uh, Angola, hey, they hang around a little bit. Kyle Husher going to hit the three ball, but uh, not nearly enough. This one, all Concordia tonight. Hey, that's roll on the, to, to move on to the sectional championship. Excuse me. 72-47 is your final. So they're going to move on to tomorrow where they're going to face the winner of the late game that features Heritage and Leo. Lions on the board first when Solomon Richard gets inside, gets the bucket to go, and then Jackson McGee, stellar the other night, had 22 points. Gets the ball knocked away right away, but hey, you know what? He sticks with it, gets the two to go. Leo gets their foot on the gas pedal. Heritage finally starts to get things going. Kobe Meyer gonna get the steal, gonna take it back for the bucket. Patriots on the board, plus the foul. But uh, Leo, yeah, just too much tonight. Nolan Heitschu on the attack, hits for two. Noah Redmond trying his best to keep Heritage in this one. He's going to hit the three. But unfortunately for them, Leo, just too much to handle tonight. Heitschu gets it again for two more. And Leo goes on to win this one, running away. Lions moving on, 53-38 is your final. So they're moving on. So here's a look at that sectional bracket from sectional 21. It's Concordia Leo, 7 p.m. is your tip time out at Woodland tomorrow. Let's head on up to LaGrange for sectional 20. West Noble taking on Fairfield in the early game. Chargers beat the Falcons earlier this year, and I don't think the Falcons forgot. Brent Garver buries a three early. It's a 10-0 lead for Fairfield after a quarter of play. And uh, they didn't slow down after that. Second quarter, Carson Smith, he hits a three as well. As Fairfield rolls tonight, 52-25, your final. Staying up in LaGrange, Lakeland, Northwood, squaring off in the nightcap. Winner going to face the Falcons tomorrow. Late in this one, it's a good game. Kyle Hartzell hits a three, cuts the Northwood lead to, late, uh, to four late, but just too much from the Panthers tonight. Kyle, Tyler Ross. Inside, gets the bucket. Northwood would finish this one off at the line. Panthers win 46-43. So here's a look at your sectional 20 bracket. Fairfield Northwood for your sectional championship up in the range. 7.30 is your set time tomorrow. Check it in on sectional 18. Typical New Valley's moving on. They take down Knox 54-26 at their home floor. So they're moving on to face Bremen for a sectional title tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. All right, let's check in on our play of the night, and uh, I think we're going to head back to Wayne High School, press area for, to Homestead High School. Wayne is the uh, the benefactor of this play. Preston Comer pulling it back and throwing it down. Hey, the rim's got feelings, young fella. Don't forget it. Wayne's moving on. Also, shout out to Javon Lewis. He becomes Wayne's all-time leading scorer tonight. What a pretty play. Congrats. They're going to face Homestead for a sectional title tomorrow.